Have you ever wanted to do anything special? I mean, really help someone out? Well, I'm Greg, and along with my partners, Hans and Gary, we are the Taste Buds, chefs and restaurant owners in Louisiana for over 20 years. And throughout that time, we've been helping a lot of people out. But now it's time to do something special, something really different. It's time to raise the bar. I heard the news, we're gonna go side to coast. I heard the news, we're gonna go side to coast. You know everybody, everybody on the boat. Wow. I got a, a huge favor to ask. You know uh, Mike Bordelon? <laughs> We all have big hearts, but Greg has a heart bigger than all of us put together. The taste buds are going to go out there and put on a fest. Brother, he did the post. Look at this, man. He jumped all over this. Likeable guy. Will do anything for anybody. You know, he was in a, a tough situation. He called his buds, and now I'm calling my bud. That's you. Hans, it never would have fit on this street. Oh, it, it's really starting to grow. I don't know how big it's going to get, but if Greg has anything to do with it, it'll be enormous. It's going to be 200 feet. And at one end, we'll have the music stage, and at right. the other end, we're going to have the cooking stage. Okay. Greg is always over-promising in what he wants to do. That's just his style. That's who he is. I, I think the venue is too large for the first time going at it. I, I'm concerned that we're not going to draw enough people. Because he creates a greater vision than we can ever accomplish. You know, I know we got this thing going on, but guys, we got to do it. Do what? We gotta go to Tuscaloosa, between now and my of blues. You're crazy. I might be nuts, but I'm not crazy. And I've got a great contact over the Seafood Promotion Board. And everybody loves Louisiana Seafood. These guys are gonna step up, they're gonna help out. I love this concept. Um, one thing we know from dealing with Katrina and reading all these hurricanes and people is collaboration, and coming together. And people have come together to help us. Now it's a chance for us to come back together and help them. We've come up here to just help out for a little bit, try to provide a good meal. I think it's human nature to want to help people and, and to give back. You know, seeing that devastation firsthand, I, I think it had a, a, a big effect on the guys. You know, we're not just going to feed these people, we're going to lift some spirits. country has been amazing for us here in Tuscaloosa. Not much time to rest. We got another event coming up on Sunday. Laiusa Palooza. That is my prep tent. That's where all the magic happens. Be creative. You look like you've broken into a couple places over the years. You're a big man here, right? Yeah, yeah. Who is that? Who is oh, that? Hop in a cart. Hop in a cart. I need that truck moved forward so they can see the snowball stand. He's just wearing me thin right now. the power of what you can do with a little bit of Louisiana seafood and our music, our culture, our heritage. We've got thousands of people who came out here today. We need to bring this on the road, bring it around the country, and we can help a lot of people. When you think of neighborhood places and all that, it's Lyuzzi. He's a man who is, he's a strong man after Hurricane Katrina. He rebuilt his restaurant all by himself. NBC News World Headquarters in New York. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. After a heaping helping of disaster, Joplin's residents and volunteers feasted on something far more welcome. I got him, sir. It was, uh, definitely a little bit of Louisiana love. A taste of New Orleans, brought to town by Chef Greg Reggio's restaurant group, cooking up ingredients donated by the state seafood industry. Helping people, paying it forward, giving back. We're three chefs and we're on a mission. 
we're the taste buds. I heard the news, we're gonna go side of coast. I heard the news, we're gonna go side of coast. You know everybody, everybody on the boat. Wow! Imagine lifting spirits across America with great Louisiana seafood. When I'm down in New Orleans, I always say, where you at? I say, Louisiana seafood is where it's at. Speckled trout tacos in Miami. All you need is salt and pepper. That's it. Salt and pepper, fresh. Both sides, done. Sweet and spicy sesame alligator in Chinatown. I couldn't wait till Friday to have Louisiana seafood. Gulf oyster chowder in Boston. The love. That's TLC. Makes our seafood better than anywhere else. It's time to give back. Here come the taste buds. <laughs>